So here it is. We, so we have the dryer here, right? And here is the crib bed set up. So we're going to get a new couch today. And I'll spare you the gross details, but we're cleaning out behind it and under the old one. There's the damage Lucy did. And the big reasons why we're replacing it. So yeah. We got about an hour and a half drive down to where we're gonna pick up the new couch. New, new to us. Pick up the change on the floor. Where? On the floor. Oh, okay. Change everywhere. It's kind of a big day. We're replacing our couch. So here is the vast emptiness that will be home to the new couch. Um, we're probably going to move the pack and go over here, which is actually where we had it before. We'll probably move that back over there and then we can tuck the couch into this corner which makes for a little better viewing angle up at the TV. I don't know why they do it like this but a lot of campers are like this. They put the TV over here you know and then your seating is over here and you never really get a straight on view of the TV but something you gotta deal with living in a camper. So, the new couch we're getting is actually used, but uh, it was dirt cheap. And our last one, Lucy, this one here, <laughs> she chewed it up. Lucy, didn't you? Did you chew up that couch? Did you chew up the couch? Yeah. So, because we don't want to invest in a another uh, another new couch that she could potentially chew up again we decided we're going with a used one so we found a used dual love seat recliner and yeah we're gonna go pick that sucker up and plop it in so we're still hanging out at Nicole's parents house um, getting the camper fixed up stuff like this we got to get that taken care of we we are in the middle. Oh, I'm not even going to show you. It's such a mess back there. Here, maybe I'll just show you the part of it. Okay. You have to forgive the mess back here. But, so here, we took out uh, this, this bottom bunk. So Aria moved to the top bunk up here, and we have a ladder that comes down. Ava is across the way up there. This is my workstation. And... So this, we got the dryer put in for drying clothes, and then we're going to section this off. And like I said, right now, we just there's a bunch of junk piled in there, so I won't bother you with it. But then this is all going to be closed off. So we're going to close off a wall here, and then we're going to have like a crib wall type material here that opens up for Aaliyah. And that's going to be Aaliyah's bed. And then we'll get to... Get the pack and go out of our living room which we desperately want that thing out of here and she's big enough she can handle a, a big bed we already got her a big bed ready to go we just got to get the bed finished uh, to get her in there and then the other thing we're doing is so this set up here this was actually the dinette out of the back bunkhouse it had this and two benches and then it folded into a bed back there to make the fourth bunk but we took our we had our dinette here we took that out here was a jackknife sofa we took that out and then we put this here so we had a table and a place for the kids to sit and then had the couch there back and go so now this is gonna go along with that and we're gonna build like a like a bar type table along the back wall with enough room for for uh, three stools 
so that each of the kids can sit there and eat or do schoolwork or whatever. And then also still you could sit and face the other way so you can watch, you know, the TV or whatever. Right now just having this little bench here in the dinette isn't enough seating for more than a couple kids. And you can't watch the TV from there because you can't see it. That's the big projects on the horizon. Plus I got more fixing up to do around here. I did, once again, forgive the mess. I did fix this door. So, wow, it really gets dark there. So one of the, no, we're not gonna be able to see it. Well, maybe there's a little bracket up there that holds it and it rides in this track. The one on, uh, the one on this side tore right out of the top of the door and the whole door was sitting all crooked. So I did fix that. I've got a lot more to fix, but one thing at a time. But we're getting ready to leave soon, so I don't have a lot of time to get it all done. Okay, so the other night we got our new couch put in. And here, check it out. There it is. It's a dual reclining love seat. And this one is much heavier than the old one was. So we actually had to recline both sides like that and then stand it up on end so we could get it through the door. And a very wide doorway. But it worked out. It's a little heavier than I would have liked, but it works. And this one's actually made out of real leather. And you know, I don't know, what do you guys think about the color? I'll try to give you the view of the, the floor, the couch, window treatments, wood and stuff around. I don't know, what do you guys think about that color? We were thinking it's a little too yellow, but... But, you know, for 50 bucks, we can't really complain. And, check this out. I couldn't do this on our other one because it had like the center console with the cup holders, but... Ah, this one, I can actually lay on and have a decent view of the TV. Now, my feet do hang off, but I am six foot three. So, not too many things in a camper can fit my body. Anyway, so we're pretty happy with that. And oh, this is gonna be the best part. So, the crib bed for Aaliyah I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. So here it is. We so we have the dryer here, right? And here is the crib bed setup. So I I have two two latches like this, one on the top, one on the bottom. And we hinged it in the center there. And so this just swings wide open like that and then you can throw the baby in there and here i don't know if you can see this very well it's kind of dark in here but this actually matches pretty good it's a paneling we found at menards uh to fill in this spot i think it looks pretty good and then we found this trim at menards also and that matches pretty good and it closed up the gap that was right here and kind of gives it a finished look. I don't know, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. This, uh, this is Aspen from Menards. It's very light weight wood. Um, and we notched out for all the vertical slats here and glued it all together. And it's, it's nice and sturdy, but really lightweight. I'm gonna say we just got the latches on the top and the bottom. And on this side, I just screwed four screws in the top and the bottom, and this thing is, I mean, it is sturdy. So yeah, very nice. I think it looks, I think it looks almost like a factory option. What do you guys think? Oh, and I should show you how I vented the dryer. Here, I'll go outside and show you that. Okay, so we have an outdoor kitchen on our camper, and here, is where I vented that out. So all we have to do is come out here, open up the outdoor kitchen door, and then 
give this tube a little pull and tilt and it will puff the hot air right out this way. I ran the plug down through that same hole I cut for the tube. Uh, that way I didn't have to use up one of the outlets inside the camper. I can use one in here. So, yeah. Our next project is the new table for the dining area. Yeah, we're gonna replace this with about an 18 inch wide table that goes about five feet long across here and then we can fit three stools unfortunately i didn't record anything on the Aaliyah's bed so i'm kind of bummed out about that but i am definitely going to do some recording while i'm making that table um oh and as far as here and as far as this toddler bed setup goes if anybody else is looking for the dimensions or or how i put this together uh, let me know and I can definitely get you the information. It was su super easy. I think it cost me Maybe 50 60 bucks in total to do that. So not bad Not bad That's gonna do it for me today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and Big announcement coming up. I think we'll announce it next week um, our, our next our next journey is to a pretty exciting place. So we're really excited to uh, share that with you guys and looking forward to heading out. We're heading out really soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.